I'm Father Curtis Carlson. I'm a Capuchin Franciscan and a priest, and I work at the Catholic Center Chapel at the Citadel Mall here in Colorado Springs. One of uh, our questions from Instagram is, what are the distinct differences between the Caps, the Capuchins, and the OFMs in terms of spirituality, charism, way of life, and how one would discern uh, which community? Well, honestly, there is quite a bit of uh, similarity among all Franciscan male communities because we have in common uh, St. Francis of Assisi uh, as the founder. He started one community, but even uh, during St. Francis's lifetime, there began to be different movements in terms of directions that some wanted to be uh, more uh, severe in the poverty. Others wanted to be a little more lenient for the sake of uh, education, for example, and have books. Uh, some would gather together in bigger houses. Some wanted to live in very small places and, and not have uh, significant houses. So over the years, uh, the fact that there are various uh, Franciscan communities, uh, we're uh, OFM Capuchin, and then there are OFMs, there's OFM conventuals, uh, there's third order regular, uh, and, and other male communities. So we probably have more alike uh, among us than major differences because we would all have the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience and would be living that way. We would emphasize uh, uh, minority, minority, meaning that we would want to live as lesser brothers rather than promoting ourselves in a in a big way. Uh, we would emphasize community, that we part of our charism is living together in community. So the, the differences among us would be more a matter of uh, emphasis, um, that um, among the conventuals, OFMs, ourselves, there might be varying uh, emphasis on uh, any one of those uh, values. And so in terms of discernment, um, it would be very important to make actual visits, as it would in any discernment to priesthood or religious life, to visit a, a given uh, order, uh, various uh, houses of that order, um, to visit uh, uh, precise communities so as to know what the differences are, what the flavor is, what the emphasis is in a given order and in a gif uh, given uh, community, and then be able to, to know which, in which one to which one am I drawn? Uh, which one seems to be a good match for uh, the, the way that I want to live out my life? Um, an example of this for myself is I've, the only Franciscan men I had known uh, had been the Capuchin Franciscans of the province of Mid-America or the province of St. Conrad. It's the same group. And uh, what drew me to them was not so much St. Francis and his ideals as such, but rather this group of men in this province. And so I learned about Franciscans through the way that these men live out our charism. And a big draw for me was the fraternity experience. I saw them not always getting along, um, but overall there was a respect for one another, a desire to be together, uh, living well together, uh, sharing things in common, uh, in the household, and just uh, a good spirit uh, among the men that I met, the Capuchins that I met. And so that's what uh, drew me, uh, is because of these particular men and how they uh, lived out their life as Capuchins.